This could be us. So back to what I was saying. <laughs> What's up guys, my name is Dwayne, welcome back, so today I'm gonna react to the toddler allergic to water, are you kidding me? She can drink water, she can't, why? Let's watch, let's find out. Oh come on, okay, I'm just gonna... Sweat and tears. Eight-month-old girl suffers from a condition where she is allergic to water, including her own sweat and tears. Ivy Angerman from Hastings, Minnesota, was diagnosed with aquagenic urticaria in October, an extremely rare condition where hives form on the skin when it comes in contact with water. Urticaria can break up for several reasons, including food allergies, a reaction to very hot or very cold temperatures, scratching, or rubbing. Currently, the only treatment for aquagenic urticaria is taking antihistamines before being exposed to water. Those who have the condition are also advised to wear moisture-wicking clothing and keep an even keel temperature to prevent sweating. It can also help to take quick showers and to never take a bath. The family has set up a GoFundMe page to raise money for research and Ivy's medical costs. Love the skin? Keep watching. Tanning drug could prevent skin cancer. Scientists have developed a, a drug kid? that can tan human skin without the harmful effects of ultraviolet radiation. In tests on skin samples and mice, researchers found a way to trick the skin into producing melanin. Ultraviolet light causes the skin to tan by damaging it. This starts a chain of chemical reactions in the epidermis that eventually leads to the production of dark melanin, the body's natural sunblock. Researchers have developed a drug that, when applied to the skin, triggers the process of producing melanin without the need for UV light. Tests of the drug were conducted on mice before they were experimented on samples of human skin. Even without exposure to UV rays, the human skin cells darkened as they would when exposed to sunlight. The study also showed melanin produced from being triggered by the drug was able to block harmful UV rays. The drug still needs to go through more safety testing and is not yet ready for commercial use. Researchers eventually hope to combine their drug with sunscreen to provide maximum protection from the sun. Drug allergic reaction peels away 90% of students' skin. A Georgia grad student Ooh. was left almost blind and without a vast majority of her skin following a rare allergic reaction to a common drug used to treat seizures and mood disorders. Meet Kalia Shaw, a public health graduate student at Georgia College and State University. Back in 2013, Shaw was diagnosed with bipolar disorder and prescribed Lamotrigin. Within a month of taking the medication, she developed a weird rash on her face and noticed her lips were always peeling off. Doctors initially told her she had the flu, but one night she woke up with an excruciating pain and thought she was having a nightmare when her hair, face, and fingernails started to fall off right before her very eyes. Doctors decided to put the 24-year-old into medically induced coma to alleviate her pain and eventually diagnosed her with Steven Johnson syndrome. SJS is a rare disorder that starts off with flu-like symptoms and attacks the top layer of the skin, forming a rash that spreads into blisters. It eventually makes the layers of the epidermis shed and fall. The disease is caused by toxins from a drug or an infection, which if not treated can even prove fatal. Shaw woke after five weeks to find 90% of her skin, nails, and nearly all of her hair gone. The brave young woman has undergone a long road to recovery, which has included seizure treatments and months spent at a burn center. 13 months in, Shaw says it still haunts her to think about what the doctors did to her at the hospital. She had to postpone her studies because of her vision and has since started a blog to cope with the impact of her unfortunate illness. New technology turns skin into a smartwatch touchscreen. Mm -mm. A team of scientists have developed a new technology that can make the skin on your arm act like a touchpad for a smartwatch. The skin track technology requires the user to wear a ring and a sensor attached to a smartwatch strap. The sensor has four electrodes that are used to receive the high frequency electrical signals. These signals are emitted by the ring when the finger touches the skin and calculates the exact position of the finger. The technology allows the user to swipe and tap his or her arm to interact with the smartwatch. The user is even able to paint a picture on the arm. The user can also drag apps off the watch and place them onto the entire arm. Hotkey commands can activate functions through shortcuts, 
For example, users can simply write an S on the arm to silence an incoming call. There are no concrete commercial plans for the skin track. The team says it is working on supplying constant power to the ring and maintaining a steady signal when the body is in constant motion. Harvard researcher grows maggots from his skin. A Harvard University entomologist Ew. successfully grew bot flies under his skin as an experiment. It began when a female bot fly laid eggs on the belly of a mosquito. This mosquito then bit entomologist Petro Nastrecki, who was busy taking pictures of frogs in a rainforest in Belize. As the mosquito was feeding, the eggs hatched and tiny larvae crawled into Nastrecki's skin. As the larvae enter human skin, the immune system automatically sends white blood cells to attack them, which for the larvae are tasty snacks. Nascrecki said three larvae survived the first week after he got home. However, one of them was particularly active and painful, so he decided to get rid of it, but kept the other two. Ten weeks later, two beautiful botfly larvae were ready to crawl out of Nascrecki's body. Why did he do it? According to Nascrecki, I figured that being a male, it was my only chance to produce another living, breathing being out of my flesh and blood. That is unsatisfying. Lesson learned. Don't go outside if it's hot or it's sunny. Just go indoors. Okay, guys. Goodbye, guys. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to hit thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell and comment hashtag Milky Squad and make sure that you subscribe. Bye, guys.